I'm Mark Austin. Here are your top stories. This morning, police continue to search for a man who they believe is responsible for beating a 76 year old woman to death. Good morning, I'm Sarah Acosta. This happening in Balcones Heights last night at the Spanish Keys apartment complex on Babcock. Police say they are looking for 55 year old Michael Wayne Kerbo, who they believe brutally beat his own mother, leaving the 76 year old woman dead. The Balcones Heights Police Chief John Jahanara says they first got a call around 7 o'clock last night from the victim asking police to help her kick her son out of her apartment after the two got into an argument. When police arrived, Kerbo had already left. Then police say around 11 o'clock last night, it was a friend of Kerbo that called police from a gas station across the street from the complex. After Kerbo mentioned his mother might need a welfare check, that's when police arrived at the complex again and found the 76 year old woman dead and badly beaten. Police Chief John Jahanara says the scene was a horrific one and they continue to search for their suspect, the victim's son, 55 year old Michael Wayne Kerbo this morning. From Balcones Heights, I'm Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. San Antonio police need your help finding an elderly woman who has disappeared and may be in danger. 82 year old Rita Brown was last seen in the 12,500 block of Paloma Trail on Monday. That's on the north side. She was driving her white 2019 Buick Encore Texas license plate LWN 7486. She's right handed with straight shoulder length hair that's usually in a ponytail. If you have any information, please call the San Antonio Police Department's Missing Persons Unit. There is still time to donate blood to help replenish the dangerous shortage here in San Antonio. This week, our KSAT community partner is holding a blood drive with University Health System. The process takes about 30 minutes and each donation can impact three lives. Donor rooms typically open from 8 in the morning or 8.30 in the morning rather, till 5 in the evening. They stay open later today until 7. And for you early risers, donor rooms will open at 7 a.m. and close at 5 on Friday. For more information, head to ksat.com and click on the KSAC Community tab. That's all for now. Have a great day.